you want to use Optifine with CurseForge Mod Packs. Well, in this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about using Optifine with CurseForge Mod Packs. But right at the start, you probably don't need it. You probably don't need Optifine. Most mod packs, such as popular packs like All the Mods 10 or a Better Minecraft, all include some sort of shaders and performance mods out of the box, meaning you do not need to get Optifine in order to get either of those. There are also a ton of Optifine alternatives that we'll be discussing in this video as well that you can use instead of Optifine, they're just as easy to install and a lot of times provide a better performance. Optifine is notorious for not working well with other mods and thus breaks when you add it to a lot of mod packs. So we'll use those other mods in case you want things like better performance or shaders and you can't add Optifine to a specific mod pack. Before we jump into actually adding Optifine to a mod pack though, how about a message from our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods like all these CurseForge mod packs to your Minecraft server and play those mod packs with your friends. You can customize the server any way that you want and if you have any issues along the way there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz SSGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we have RLCraft here, and that's what we're going to be adding Optifine to because you can actually add Optifine to RLCraft without issues. How do you do that? Well, first we need to see and make sure that a mod pack is for the Forge mod loader. As you can see here it is. And we need to make sure that it is for a version that Optifine supports. So that is going to be for Forge, and it's going to be 1.12.2 version of Minecraft in this case. If it's a newer version, if this said 1.21.1, .1, well then that's the version of Optifine we would download. In the description down below, we have a link to here. And then you can go down and click on the Download Optifine button to go to Optifine's official download page. Now with RL Craft, we need to click Show All Versions there because we need to scroll all the way down here and grab the 1.12.2 version of Optifine. Fine. You can click mirror here to go direct to this download and click download and it will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file there. Now with that being said, if you're getting a newer version, let's say we were wanting to try, it wouldn't work, but let's say we wanted to try to add this to all the mods here. In this case, we would select it. It would be NeoForge. That's one of the reasons it wouldn't work. And it would be for Minecraft 1.21.1. Optifine only works with the Forge mod loader, not NeoForge, not Fabric. Only Forge and it's going to break a lot of mod packs. Like it will just not work with a 10 here. But with that being said, you would in this case, if it was Forge, you would download the most recent version of Optifine 1.21.1. If it was a 1.20 mod pack, you would download this version. If it was a 1.17.1 mod pack, you would download this version. And again, it has to be Forge. NeoForge will not work with Optifine. Fabric will not work with Optifine. We've got some alternatives. We're going to talk about those, but as it sits right now, that is the case. Nevertheless, let's go ahead now and get Optifine added now that it's downloaded. To do that, you want to go ahead and find the Optifine file you downloaded. For me, that's going to be in my downloads folder here, and we're going to move this to our desktop just because that's the easiest way to actually get things installed because we're going to be moving this into another folder. And then we want to right click on RLCraft in the CurseForge app. Then go ahead and click on open folder here, and then you'll have a mods folder. Drag and drop Optifine Optifine into this mods folder, right like so, and there you go, Optifine's installed. Now we can go ahead and click play and play Minecraft, play RLCraft, and Optifine will be there. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we are in game. If we go to options and then we go to video settings, we'll be able to see all of Optifine's settings here, including shaders. You can add shaders here, activate them, all of that stuff, and you would be good to go. This is what it will look like whenever you successfully install Optifine to a mod pack. The process is the same for every mod pack. You download the version of Optifine for the version of Minecraft here, assuming it's a Forge mod pack. Right click on it, click on open folder, and then just drag and drop it into the mods folder here. However, what if you try that and it doesn't work? It could fail when you're starting Minecraft in the Minecraft launcher. It could fail once you get in game. Like it could try to open up Minecraft and crash. It could also, once you do get in game, crash when you go to video settings or crash when you load into a world, things like that. Well, if that's the case, Optifine's not going to be compatible with that mod pack. So what do we do? Well, first, we want to make sure that there's no Optifine alternatives already installed. Here's what I mean. Let's go ahead and play all the mods 10 real fast. This process is the same for pretty much any mod pack, and it's going to look the same for most of the modern mod packs. So all the mods 10 is a great way to showcase this. Let me get it open. So in game here, if we go to options, video settings, we can see there's tons of performance settings here with quality, performance, all of that stuff, but shaders packs in the top right. And all the mods, better Minecraft and a lot of the popular mod packs come with shaders packs already installed that work with them. So we can go ahead and select complementary shaders here, click apply, and it is active. And like I said, if performance is what you're going for, you can go through here and change all of these settings and make things perform way better. A lot of times getting better 
performance than you would have gotten with Optifine. So in this case, you do not need to install Optifine to all the mods 10 or to any of the mod packs that already have this built in. So before you go and install Optifine, launch the mod pack. Make sure that this isn't here. If you log in, there are no shaders. There's just vanilla video settings. It doesn't have, you know, the quality, performance, all of that stuff. Well, in that case, you can use alternatives if Optifine doesn't work. What are some of those? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. For fabric mod packs, we're going to be using Iris Shader. So to do that, these are all linked in the description down below. We'll take you here, go to download, and then we want to actually click on download from Modrinth here. That's then going to allow us to download the specific version we want. If, for example, we were going to be using Neoforge, well, this is how you can get it with Neoforge, right? So Neoforge and Fabric work with Iris Shaders. In those cases, let's go ahead and grab the Fabric version here for 1.20.1, click the green download, click save and it will begin downloading. And then we also need sodium. Sodium is the performance aspect. Iris shaders adds in shaders, sodium adds in performance, and they are both required for either of them to work. So we can go download here, all the links in the description, go to versions, and we want to grab that fabric version here, right like so, for that most recent 1.21. Now, with that being said, how do we install these? Well, the same as Optifine. So let's say we wanted to install these to a modern mod pack like Better Minecraft here. Problem is, this is for 1.20.1, not the versions we downloaded. So let me go grab the correct versions. So there we go. The correct versions are now downloaded. I can find them in my downloads folder here. We can see they are for 1.20.1. That's important to check because if we installed the 1.21 versions, it wouldn't have worked. So we need to make sure it would be the 1.20.1 versions here. Then the installation process is the same. Right click on it. Click Click on open folder and then you want to go into mods. Now, funny enough, this is already installed here. So if we scroll down, look at what we will find. If we scroll down to where Irish shaders would be, there it is. Irish shaders right there. We could delete this if we wanted, but it's already installed. But you would just drag and drop Irish shaders and sodium over. And then once you've done that, they are installed. By the way, sodium is also already here. Like I said, most mod packs come with these already installed. And there it is. Now, with that being said, you can now play Minecraft and you will have shaders and performance enhancements with sodium. What if you're running a Forge mod pack, though, and you try to add Optifine to it and it doesn't work? Well, there are all alternatives for that as well, linked in the description. Oculus and Embedium. And the same process for installing these is what you use when you are installing Optifine or any other mods. You would simply download them by clicking download, making sure you're getting the right version for the mod pack. So in this case, it would be, for example, if we were going to add this to Better Minecraft 4 here, we can see that this is a Forge mod pack for 1.20.1. So that's what we would want to download for Oculus here, 1.20.1 Forge version. All right, we can download this and save it. And then we would do the same for Embedium here. We would go to versions, find the 1.20.1 Forge version, right here it is, and click download. And it will go ahead and start downloading. And now you can use this by installing it the exact same way that we've installed other mods. So what we would do is go ahead and move these from our downloads folder to our desktop and then add them by right clicking on Better Minecraft 4, clicking on open folder, and then in the mods folder we would drag and drop these. So we can see that down here Oculus is installed. Oddly Embedium is not installed, but Oculus is. So good to go there, and uh, yeah, this by default has shaders, performance upgrades, all of that stuff in Better Minecraft 4. So there you have it. That's how you can get Optifine features and Optifine with a Curse Words mod pack. 99% of the time, you don't even need to add Optifine. Just skip it. These mod packs are optimized to have better performance and shaders by default. That way, you don't have to install and add things to them. RL Craft is the exception. It's a super old mod pack, and it works well with Optifine for that reason. Newer mod packs are going to struggle more and more with using Optifine. That's where all alternatives like Iris, Sodium, Embedium, and Oculus all come in to fix things. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and it helped you out. We'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.